interrupt for a second. The normal process in a community dinner is that we have a constituent introduce the senator, but the senator wanted to address you guys first. Out of respect to our guest, this is Hilmi Bakri. He's the president of the Islamic School, the president of the board of the Islamic School. He's going to speak for a few minutes. Good evening, everyone, and thank you, really, for an introduction. Um, I just, for two minutes, if I have, may have your time, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I first met Senator Whitehouse uh, at the Islamic School of Rhode Island. He uh, came uh, based on an invitation that we gave him. And he spoke to the uh, middle class students, and we do this very often with government officials, just to get our kids uh, involved in government. We stayed in touch with his office for uh, about two years or so, and last December, uh, his office called us and said, would you like to come for a round table and discuss um, Senator Sessions' nomination to Attorney General? So we came to the round table and he had invited a lot of a diverse group of people uh, to hear their concerns. Um, we met at the CCRI and uh, I told him that the concerns that I had from the Muslim community of having someone like Sessions Head of, a, head of the law enforcement agencies here in the country, is that I was concerned about how he would prioritize law enforcement and, uh, law in, and tell them what, who to prosecute and how to establish justice, or uh, between you and I, injustice. So, as a Muslim, I'm especially concerned about the Muslim ban uh, through the executive order that the President signed uh, Friday afternoon. Um, I was you know, it's, it's especially worrying to me because it targets me, my wife, and our three kids. Um, so it targets us and makes us a people of, that, you can, that you should mistrust. No. And that's not something that, um, that, that's pretty scary to uh, a seven and eight year old. So, so Friday afternoon he, he signed an executive order to ban Muslims from seven countries and the Syrian refugees um, who are who were supposed to come in uh, during, this, uh, during this time. So now, the president has made, he made, has made good on one promise, which was the Muslim ban. And although it affects my community more directly, uh, I think we should all be concerned. because he will make good on other promises as well. And some of them might affect you more than me, but together, if we engage in the political process, we have, a risk, we have a way to resist hate. And I was very happy to hear that Senator Whitehouse um, took our feedback and decided to not support Senator Sessions. So uh, I'm just going to close uh, soon. I just want to say that our history hasn't been perfect, but people have protested, have called the government officials, and we've enacted proper legislation. Getting involved in government by calling a writer to Congress and Senate is how we enable our democracies to stay alive. Um, Senator Whitehouse has been very approachable and he's concerned about his constituents. Uh, and I, I, I hear sometimes some, some decisions that he makes may not be liked by all, but I know in his heart he's trying the best for Rhode Island, he's trying the best for the country. So as a resident of Rhode Island, I'm very happy that he and his office have been very accessible to us. And I want to say that we all have access to his office, and I encourage everyone to engage themselves in the democratic process, and that's what I want to end with. Thank you so much. Can we just have an expression of welcome and appreciation?